We are back. Welcome back to our next Tuesday topic. Uh, kind of jumping off last week, we talked about some jumpers knee. Today, we're gonna we're gonna expand on that tendinopathy type uh, train. We're gonna talk about uh, tennis elbow and, and kind of golfer's elbow. Uh, really, really similar. Just happened on different areas of the elbow. Basically, this is a, a chronic, uh, repetitive overuse type injury. People that that grip a lot, maybe athletes that throw that are kind of using all these muscles of their forearm. Uh, maybe laborers that are swinging a hammer, you know, 2,000 times a day. Basically, repetitive use of, of a lot of these forearm muscles that all originate in the same uh, same bone, same area, and they start to pull. So, uh, golfer's elbow, kind of on the front side here. All these these muscles of of the anterior of the front forearm start in the same area. So, if they're repetitively used, they're just pulling the heck out of that bone, and you kind of get uh, that that inflammatory response. Uh, versus our tennis elbow, that's going to be on the other side of the forearm, on the back side, same thing. They all kind of start on the, on the same uh, bony area. So basically, we get repetitive uh, strain on these muscles that are, that are tugging on that, on that bone. So sometimes you'll see people wearing that strap to take some pressure off, give them a little bit of relief. But at the end of the day, we got to do some stuff to, one, we got to get all those muscles to kind of calm down. So maybe taking a break from, from golfing every night or doing something like that, doing some soft tissue treatment and getting those muscles to calm down. Two, we got to kind of treat, treat the inflammatory area. So if this is a chronic thing, maybe we want to uh, get some inflammation on purpose. Just do some needling, do some laser, something like that to kind of promote the tissue healing and, and promote that inflammation. Um, and then three, we got to kind of train the overall system. So maybe someone's swinging a hammer 2,000 times a day and maybe their shoulder just isn't working how we want. So then we're going to get some sort of trickle down injury being uh, that golfer's elbow in that case. So, so we'll kind of go at it uh, from, from those three phases. One, we got to get this to calm down. Two, we got to get some of that stuff to, to heal, bring some blood flow, bring some positive inflammation. And three, we got to look at the overall picture, the overall grand scheme of things to, to treat, the, treat the root cause, basically. So um, these are both under the tendinopathy train. We kind of, like I said, we talked about jumper's knee in, in, in uh, young athletes um, previously. Now we're kind of talking about maybe more middle age. Uh, but different different uh, type of tendinopathy. So hopefully you learned a thing or two. Um, any questions, we, we'd love to hear from you guys. If not, we'll catch you in a week.